Welcome back to The Shift Podcast. Blake here, and we are coming off what was a monumental week across the entire direct selling channel. Of course, this last week, we held our direct selling university and DSN's Global 100 Awards celebration out in Texas. Huge event where we spent a couple days coming together for Direct Selling University. Over 40 speakers, a lot of the top level owners, founders, CEOs, executives from companies that are innovating, growing, excelling, thinking different. And can I just pause for a minute and just highlight how rare it is to have what was hundreds of companies in the room, over 40 billion, that's with a B, over $40 billion in annual combined channel revenue, an entire trade channel in a room, pulling back the curtain, creating an environment of trust, of transparency, and just sharing what we're seeing, what we're feeling, what we're experiencing, what's working, the approaches that we're taking from the pure raw intention to raise the tide across the entire channel. I just want to pause for a minute and say, wow, what a pleasure. I always leave these events absolutely inspired, absolutely ready to go to the next level. And I'm sure all of the member companies that were there feel the same. So thank you to all of the speakers that poured their heart out. Thank you to DSN for creating that environment. And I'll tell you, I bet if you're listening right now, I bet there's a strong chance that you had your company and community represented in the room coming back with a fire and a whole lot to apply to take your community to the next level. And of course, the annual DSN Global 100 Awards Celebration, where we honored all of the top 100 companies, brands, and communities across this amazing industry worldwide, and all of the specialty Bravo Award winners that are out there raising a standard, out there challenging us to be better, out there showing us what is possible. So congratulations to all of the companies that made that Global 100 list, and even more so you, Yes, you listening to this right now, the power of the communities that make every single one of those missions a reality in people's lives every single day. So if you missed it, uh, there was a live stream. I believe DSN published is the list every year. You can find it at directsellingnews.com. Congratulations again to all of you. Uh, And for those new companies out there that are working their way to be on the list, you can look and see what is possible. And every one of you, every one of you listening right now, just know the work you're doing matters. It is more needed today than ever before. And we have an exciting, bright future for this amazing channel. And we all get to lock arms and grow and learn in this journey together. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that I'm a little fired up coming off that amazing event. Uh, At the end of this conversation, maybe I'll let you know on something special we'll do on this show to celebrate some of what happened last week in some upcoming episodes. So uh, we'll come back to that because today's conversation, well, this is a shift summary. I love our time together where we get a chance just to come and reflect on our previous guest conversations. And I think this is really important. I love the guest conversations, the caliber of leaders we are attracting to the show in such early phases. I mean, I am just so grateful and blessed. There's so much that these entrepreneurs are pouring into us in these interviews. And I think it's just important that we don't just hear it one time, but that we actually intentionally reflect on the things that we can learn and immediately apply in our business today to create acceleration, to amplify impact. So these conversations are just as important to me as they are for you because we all get a chance to learn from these insightful dialogues together. And last week was something special. We had absolute industry icon on the show, Dan McCormick, someone who has been 41 years, over four decades in this space, but beyond the length of consistency, 
someone who has operated at the highest levels of success. And you combine those two things, that type of experience when it comes to duration over the seasons, right, over all of the things that he's seen and experienced with the level of success that he's able to play at, it was a special conversation, full stop. It's rare you get a chance to have a candid dialogue with someone with that type of perspective. And Dan poured into us. I mean, we covered so much when it comes to his journey, his stories, right? His plateaus, the things that have worked, right? The challenges he had to overcome and how he did it. And he gave us everything that has helped him get to where he is today from someone that that walks the walk, someone that lives a principle-based life and someone that has the experience, the perspective to really allow us to compress time toward our goals and toward our future vision. So if you missed the episode, go back and for sure, listen to the full conversation with Dan McCormick. I did have a lot of people pull me aside in the hallway and say that episode moved them. So go back, listen to it or listen to it again. But I want to cover three specific highlights, three significant shifts that I felt we all need to grab and immediately make our own from our conversation with Dan. Starting with shift number one, the most important conversation you will ever have is the conversation with yourself. Dan really made us feel that words matter. I think it was Jim Rohn, the late, great Jim Rohn that said, don't be lazy in your language. And Dan did an amazing job reminding us that thoughts are things. What we think about, we bring about. And thoughts begin with the conversation, the language, the words that we use with ourselves every single day. And I asked him, well, where do we begin? If we want to create a shift with our internal dialogue, we want to create a shift starting to have better conversations in between our ears that will put us on a path to better outcomes. And he gave us the beginning, two powerful words, I am. And he went even deeper into his own personal routine where every week he gave us his words that he begins every week with, I am a creator. I am intentional. I am present. And I challenge you listening right now that if you want to start working on better internal conversation, better internal dialogue to move your business and your life forward, borrow someone who has a system that is working for them. You can borrow Dan's words. I am a creator. I am intentional. I am present. Meditate, journal, think about that on a weekly basis or get inspired by the format, the framework that he's given and start with I am and ask yourself what words are important to you? What intentions do you want to create? I am what in your world? And it might sound like something so simple, But I promise you from my own experience, let alone all the conversations I've had with all of the entrepreneurs across this channel over my 25 years, it begins with that internal conversation and that core belief of who you are, the mission you're on, the intention you have. And I challenge you to make that shift and start writing weekly journaling, I am, and create that frame or that filter, that intention for which you approach what you do every day in your business. It'll make a difference. So let's make the shift. Now, shift number two that we got from our conversation with Dan, and I loved this. I'd never heard it put this way. And I want to highlight when he said, if you want to make your present better, you got to make your future bigger. Let's be honest. Do you want your present to be better? I think we all do. I think that's why we're here. I think that's why we're investing time and energy into conversations like this to make us better because you know there is more out there for you. You know you deserve more out there for you. And if you want to make your present situation better, which is why we're here, 
Dan gave us the key. You got to make your future bigger. You see, so often we get stuck in the past. We spend our life looking in the rear view mirror. We let decisions or circumstances that are behind us, that are long gone, still consume us or still control us. If I were to ask you right now and think about this, it might be an interesting question, but if you could pull all of the thoughts that you've had in the last week, let's say the last seven days, and let's say you were to put them in three buckets, every thought, every moment that went between your ears over the last seven days, and bucket number one is that thought had to do with something behind you, your past. Or that thought was in bucket number two, the current present situation. Or that thought was in bucket number three, where you're going, your future. And you were to divide all your thoughts. What percentage would be stuck in the past? You see, now that I just asked that question, you might be thinking about the last seven days. What I hope is you start to think that way over the next seven days and the days into the future and start to become more aware and conscious of we got to spend less time looking backwards. And that's not because of regret. Eventually, it turns to gratitude for all of the experiences, all of the circumstances, the the wins that gave us the feeling and the losses that gave us the lessons. We learn over time those losses are actually more valuable. That's what makes us better. We learn very little from the times things work. We learn the most from the times that we mess up, that we fall down, that we make a mistake. That's how we grow. You grab the lessons, but you don't spend time there. You learn to be present and where you are today to enjoy the moments, but your vision your vision, your vision of where you are going, what you want, who you are becoming. It's got to be so big, so compelling, something that fires you up, something that excites you, something where you are able to see, man, that is what is ahead of me. That's got to be so big, so big. That's what's going to change your current situation. So I challenge all of you to make the shift. Only look backwards long enough to grab the lesson. Be intentional about being present in your current moments. That's where we are today. But have a vision for your future that fires you up and allows you to make the decisions, take the actions. Today, they're going to make that vision a reality. Let's make the shift. And shift number three came toward the end of our conversation with Dan. And I'm going to summarize it in one word because I think the one word really captures the the essence of it. And that one word is worthy. It's a word right now that seems to be growing in in popularity. And I think the timing of that word is so powerful. And Dan highlighted that. You are worthy. I love how he said that part of our journey, we have to find our own voice. He gave a shout out to Stephen Covey from his eighth habit that is all around how to find your own voice. Something that sounds so simple and should be so natural because it is innate, it is you, but something that because of the world we live in, the systems we go through, constantly trying to meet expectations that have been bestowed on us somewhere along the line, we lose our voice. And I think part of the power of realizing you are worthy is realizing you have a voice, learning what the voice is and owning your voice. In order to stand out, from everything today, you have to stand for something. If you try to be everything to everyone, you're gonna end up being nothing to no one. We've heard it from leaders on conversations on this show, the word authenticity, be yourself, show up as you, everybody else is taken, all comes down to this understanding that you are worthy as you were created. You are enough, you are enough. And you know what, you do deserve it. And the minute you start understanding and believing that to your core, to your core, you're going to find your voice. You're going to own your voice. You're going to start creating an attraction and a community and a tribe that aligns with who you are and who you are becoming. So let's make the shift. So there's my challenges for you this week. I mean, there were so many insights from our conversation with Dan, but I challenge you to really become aware of the most important conversation you will ever have is with yourself What are your I am words or I am statements? Give it a try. Challenge you. Build that habit. Watch how magic starts to happen. If you want to make your present better, and I know you do, you got to make your future bigger. What is that vision that you are pursuing right now? And if it doesn't light you up, it's not big enough. And shift number three, you are worthy. You do deserve it as you are right now. Such a great episode. 
You can listen to the full episode, all our previous episodes and future episodes. You guys know where we are. We're like everywhere. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Audible, YouTube. I will say that you taking time to leave us those ratings and those reviews matter. So thank you for those of you that are making your way to the platforms, writing reviews. We read every one of those and that helps us get these conversations in front of even more passionate entrepreneurs. So follow the show if you haven't subscribed on your favorite platform, and you can always subscribe directly at directsellingshift.com. Go to the website, follow the show, get it emailed every single week when we push new episodes live, and you can nominate future guests right there on the website as well. And I told you next week, we're going to do something special. So I had the privilege at Direct Selling University this past week in front of the industry to actually talk about so many of the highlights from our previous guests and did a special session all around the top five most powerful perspective shifts that we've gotten from this show over the first six months. All our guests to date really highlighting the reoccurring themes and trends that are having the biggest impact in our communities in this channel right now, among some other insights that are helping us move forward. And I had a conversation with DSN and they're willing to release that stage section to all of you on this show, which generally is only for member companies at the DSU events. So tune in next week for a very, very special episode. You get a chance to go behind the scenes, be a fly on the wall inside that direct selling university and get some of the insights from the last six months of our guests. I think you're going to love the episode. Don't miss it on Monday. Follow the show, turn on your notifications, join our newsletter and stay tuned for some upcoming future guests. We have a amazing lineup lining up. The momentum of the show is building. The nominations are starting to come in extremely fast and I look forward to having more real raw conversations with the best of the best in this channel on what they're doing to accelerate and transfer all of that to you so you can amplify your impact accelerate your income and continue to pursue your goals and your dreams we are here to help until next time everybody we'll see you Monday let's make the shift